गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग हाउ आर यू ऑल गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग हाउ आर यू मैम हाउ आर यू मैम वी आर फाइन गुड मॉर्निंग मैम टूडे मैम निकाल दिया। ओके सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन द सोलर सिस्टम राइट विच इज दास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ अवर सिलेबस ओके मैम ओपन द पेज नंबर वन फोर्टी सिक्स ओके मैम ओके मैम निकाला ओके बेटा Now, since students, this chapter is very interesting, right? We already studied this chapter in the uh, standard third, is it? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Right. Now, so come on, tell me what is solar system, and what are the eight planets of the solar system? Ma'am, eight planets Venus. of the solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Earth, Mars. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Ma'am, okay, very nice. Ma'am, ma'am, what is solar system? The solar system is like a very big family. Right, big family of what? Ma'am, ma'am, what is the solar system called? What? चैप्टर Keep quiet, everyone. Only Madhav. What is your question, Madhav? What is your question? Like, जो कल homework दिया था, आप उसके answer से दिखाने वाले थे ना? That we will do in our last, okay? In last ten minutes, we will solve the question. Listen to me first. Yeah. The worksheet question answers that we will solve in the last ten minutes of our period. But first, start with this. Start this new chapter. Okay. ओके मैम ओके नाउ स्टूडेंट सी द न्यू चैप्टर ऑन द पेज नंबर 146 द सोलर सिस्टम सी स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज सोलर सिस्टम सो सोलर सिस्टम दैट कंसिस्ट सन प्लैनेट्स मून एंड drop planets right all this consists by the solar system and solar system has eight planets so students in this chapter what we learned in this chapter we will learn about the solar system rotation and revolution okay so first of all we learned about the solar system and then the two movements of the earth which are rotation and revolution okay so we'll learn about how this rotation and revolution works right how this uh, movements of the earth that affect us okay so all this thing we will learn in this chapter so first of all so we we'll learn about the solar system okay see students the solar system is like a very big family the solar system is like a very big family it consists of the moon sun planets etc The planet moves around the sun. See, students, in the solar system, it consists sun, moon, and planet. This is called the solar system, right? So, this is only one solar system that our planet is included in it. So, in our galaxy, there are so many solar system like it, and right? there are thousands of solar system like it in our galaxy. So, see, students, the planet moves around the sun. sun is the center of the solar system and all the eight planets they are moving around the sun 
our eight planets are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune right so all the eight planets they moving around the sun now see nikhil wants to be a space scientist Okay, Nikhil is a boy, and he wants to be a space scientist. Now, any one of you tell me that what is the space scientist? Yeah, ma'am. Professor, what is the name? Professor of space. He is one of the best. Good God, did he? Quiet, everyone. Tell me what is space scientist? That can give we space information. Information. right the person who research on the space right on the planets on the sun moon right all the objects that include in the solar system right so that person is called space scientist now see there is a difference between space scientist and astronaut now what is astronaut the person who traveled into space is called astronaut okay now like nikhil wants to be a space scientist what he wants to become a space scientist why because he enjoys collecting information and facts about the space he enjoys the collecting the information and facts about the space now students we have to help the nikhil right because nikhil wants our help so help nikhil to put the planet in the correct order what we have to do we have to help nikhil to put the planet in the correct order So see students, here will they given us the uh, two images of no, the planet, right? Okay, this blank one and this the colorful planet, right? Now what we have to do? Name your voice is not. We have to name your voice is not clear. First we have to in the correct order, okay? the first one is mercury second venus third earth fourth mars fifth jupiter sixth saturn seventh uranus and eighth one is neptune okay so we have to done that now here you can see this all the planets right so first of all we have to write down the numbers over here and upper side we have to write down the name of the planet okay first of all we have to write down the number number of the planet and upper side we have to write down the name of the planets as well okay Come on, do it. And then after you have to match with this one. Then we can color. Yes, you can color those. First of all, students, give the numbers to the planets and also write down the name. Then number Z here. Then write down the name. Okay, ma'am. Upper side, you have to write down the name. Ma'am, jo part pe color nahi hai, us part mein nahi hai, us upper na. Yes. Ma'am, look at the in the black side. The first one is Mercury, right? Second one is Venus. Venus. Third one is Earth. Earth. How can you recognize the planet from their size, right? From their color, from the special thing, just like ring over here, right? So first one is uh, in the blanks one. First one is Mercury. Second one is Venus. Third one is Earth. Fourth one is Mars, right? That is in the proper order. And then after you have to write down the name of the planet and then match with the second image. See the blank. Look at the first one in the blank. That first planet of the blank is this similar with the second image, right? So the match the first planet with the first one. Look at the second planet. It is Venus. Second image is the Venus. It is also same. Right? So match the second one with second. Now third one. Third one is the Earth. Right? The third number planet is Earth. So match the third planet with the fifth number, which is given the second image is in the fifth number. Number give that. 
Yes. Mars. Third is Mars. Ne Mars. Beta in the solar system, the third planet is Earth. Earth. Right. Earth. So we have to match the third planet with the fifth one because in the second image is the Earth is Earth number is fifth one. Ma'am. Yes, you can color it as well. So see, we have to match this third planet with fifth one because it is Earth. Matching color something here. Right, after match करना है और तो you can color it. Ma'am, मैं number ऊपर three लिखता हूँ. Ma'am, हाँ बेटा, you also write down the numbers of planets and names as well. Ma'am, जो blank है उसमें मैं लिखने के हैं ना. Ma'am, नहीं बेटा, मोटे लिखूँ. Earth में या third लिखूँ. Third बेटा. Earth number is third. Ma'am, I'll be caught. Mercury. Ma'am, planets can have upper side wall and I'll be caught down side wall. Upper. See here first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then they are in the proper order. And then upper side we have to write down the name: Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Then after we have to match one. See, look at the first one, Mercury. Right now we have to look at the side. So match the first one with the first because these both are similar. Then Venus, second one. So it will also match with second one. Then third one is Earth. Then we have to match this third Earth with the fifth number. And look at the fourth one, Mars. So Mars color is red. So we have to match the fourth Mars with three. Right? Part of the number D. Oh, thank you. Okay, students. मैं आपकी स्क्रीन नहीं दिख रही। मैं आपकी स्क्रीन नहीं दिख रही है। बस अब देखिए। You have to do it by yourself। Match with Jupiter, then Saturn, then Uranus and Neptune, right? मैं ये And then after you have to color this. Oh, yes, beta. Very nice, Shanmi. Very good. Thank you, ma'am. So, let's try to the color. Let's try the color. See here. Done everyone? Hey, no ma'am. Okay. Ma'am only one minute. Abhi color nahi karna hai. Zerox to karwa le. Ma'am, aisa karna hai. मैं देखो ना ये वन सेकेंड स्क्रीन तो विजिबल होने दो यस राइट वेरी नाइस यस एंड देन आफ्टर यू हैव टू कलर यस ऐसे ही करना है वेरी नाइस बेटा Okay. 
Now students, if you work in our company, yes, you don't have to color this planet now. You can do it after. Now see students, look at the next one. Turn off your camera, Janisha. Here they give you a picture of the solar system, right? Janisha, better turn off your camera so everyone can see the screen properly. Janisha Doshi, are you there, better? Ma'am, Janisha, can you tell me the camera off? That's what I told you, her. Okay, now see students, they given you us a uh, one picture of solar system. Here you can see this. See, the sun is the center of the solar system and all these are the eight planets which are revolving around the sun. All the eight planets are revolving around the sun. See, the solar system, the sun, the eight planets, their moons and the dwarf planets form the solar system. The solar system consists of what? Sun, these eight planets, their moons, and the dwarf planets form the solar system. The eight planets that revolve around the sun in the order of increasing distance from the sun. Here, students, you can see this. All these eight planets they are revolving around the sun, but in order of increasing distance. Look at the first one. The first planet is Mercury, right? It is closest to the sun. Now, second one is Venus. So Venus, it is in the distance of Mercury. Third one is Earth. So Earth is also in the distance of Venus. Then comes Mars. So Mars is in the difference of distance of Earth. Right. So just as just say, our order बढ़ता जाता है, right? When there's a, a increase in the order of the planets, then also increase in the distance of the uh, from the sun also, right? That means the last planet which is Neptune, it is the farthest planet from the earth, from the sun. So here are the eight planets of the solar system. It is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, right? This all planets are in order of increasing distance from the so here in our solar system there are the eight planets. Okay. Now see students the fact file. What is the fact file? The sun is about 150 million kilometers away from the sun, away from the earth. Sit down here. One second students. Now see students, the fact file that is, sun is about 150 million kilometers away from the earth. The surface of the sun is very hot, about 6000 degrees Celsius. The sun, the distance between sun and earth is 150 million kilometers. And the sun is also very hot, we know that right? Now what is the temperature of it? The surface of the sun is very hot. It about the surface of the, of the earth about 6000 degrees Celsius students. Okay. Now see, see students here they given us some information about the solar system, the planets and the sun also. Look at the first one, sun. The sun is a huge ball of fire that gives us heat and light. The sun is a huge ball of fire that gives us heat and light. Now, it is the center of the, our solar system. Sun is the center of our solar system. And all the other eight planets, they are revolving around the sun. Now, look at the first planet. First planet is Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Here you can see this. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun and also smallest planet in the solar system. So when you look at the picture in the solar system, so you will find that Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system. Okay. Then comes second planet which is Venus. 
So Venus is the second planet in the solar system and is the hottest planet of all. Venus is the hottest planet in all the solar system. Remember students, Mercury is the smallest planet and Venus is the hottest planet of all. Then comes the third planet in the solar system. It is also the blue planet. Now tell me what is called the blue planet. That question is also uh, we have because done this in the standard yeah. world. Tell me why Earth is called blue planet. Because Earth is more water. So 70% of... Earth has 70% water. Water because if Earth has 70% of... Earth has 70% of... Water and 30% of... Because it almost contains 70% of... Water and 30% of... Water and 30% of... Because it almost contains 70% of... Water and 30% of... Water and 30% of... Okay. Very good. See, our Earth is called blue planet because the 70% of its surface is covered with water. That means on the Earth we have 70% of water and 30% of land. Because our Earth covered with 70% of water, that is why it appears blue when seen from the space. Now say students, uh, one of you when become the astronaut. Now tell me, uh, any one of you interested in to become an astronaut? Me I. Yeah? I. Okay, very Mother good. Vida. Very nice. Me so me students, me. one of you when in the future, uh, you know, one of you will be become an astronaut and travel into the space, then from there, when you see the uh, earth, you will find out that the earth appears blue in color. Why? Because the earth's 70% part is covered with water and only 30% of part is covered with land. Because water color is blue. That is why from the space, when you see the earth, it appears blue in color. Then, it is the only planet where life is known to exist. It is the only planet. Earth is the only planet where life is known to exist. Now tell me students, there is also the other seven planets in our solar system, right? Why we can't live on it? Um, Man, because Earth is most suitable for our. Because Earth has everything. Air, water, mm -hmm. land, everything. And, uh, and other planets do not have everything. No, yes, very good. Yes. Okay. See, students, because we are living in planet and all living beings need food, water, oxygen, and so, so our Earth has all the things that are needed by the human being or any living thing. And any other planet do not have this type of thing, right? They do not have water, they do not have food, right? Without soil, without food. We grow plant over there. They don't have oxygen. They don't have the electricity. And they don't have the right? That is why Earth is very suitable for exist. Then comes the Mars. Mars is the fourth planet. Mars, the fourth planet, is also called red planet. Mars is also called red planet. Why? Right? Because the soil and rocks on this planet are red. Red. Because the soil and rocks on the Mars are in the red color. That is why Mars is called red planet. It is the only planet that is similar to Earth. And scientists believed that it is the only planet besides Earth where life may exist. Scientists ye believe that hai ke baad Mars is a planet hai jis pe life choice exists kar sakti hai aapko pata hai humne mangalyaan ko launch kiya hai mangalyaan ko launch kiya tha past year to search out the mars right the search about the details of the mars that how the living vibe or not right for that so scientists believe that Mars is the only planet besides the Earth where life may exist. Now students turn the page. 
Then comes the next planet which is Jupiter. So Jupiter is the fifth and the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter is the fifth and largest planet. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter spins very fast, pulling the clouds surrounding it to form a stripped pattern. This is why where we see stripped pattern on Jupiter, where we look carefully. See students, here they given us a picture of Jupiter, right? This is the Jupiter planet. So when you look carefully the Jupiter planet, you will see this stripped pattern of it. On it, right? So, when Jupiter is seen, it shows us a stripped pattern. How did this stripped pattern came from? So, this stripped pattern came from the clouds because this Jupiter spins very fast around the sun. Right? This Jupiter spins very fast. Now, it spins very fast. It spins very fast. It spins very fast. That is why it pulls the clouds surrounding in it. Apne aas paas jitne bhi clouds se unko apni taraf pull karta hai. And because of the cloud, this strips on the Jupiter were made. This pattern, right? Ma'am, Jupiter spins very fast, pulling the clouds surrounding in it from the stripped pattern. This is why we see stripped pattern on Jupiter when we look carefully. Yes, stripped, stripped, matlab? Stripped means, aap aap jo lining jo hoti hai, unhe hum stripped kehte hain. Right? प्लानेट विथ रिंग बिकॉज इट अपियर्स टू हैव सर्व रिंग अराउंड इट्स मीटर सो स्टूडेंट सेट्रन इज वेरी इजी टू रिकग्नाइज बिकॉज सेट्रन प्लानेट हैव द रिंग ओवर इट Right here you can see this this ring. So Saturn is a planet with ring. Then comes the last planets which are Uranus and Neptune. So they are farthest from the sun. Uranus and Neptune are farthest from the sun. Together with Jupiter and Saturn, they are called the outer planets. So Uranus, Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn they are called outer planets. Why? Because they are very far away from the sun so uranus and neptune this both are the farthest from the sun that is why this both planets are very coolest neptune is the coolest planet why because it is very far away from the sun now so this here is your answer for your question that why neptune is not a planet anymore right see pehle there are nine planets in the solar system pluto are also included pluto well also included in the solar system but now there is only eight planets so see till july 2006 it was accepted that the sun has a family of nine planets till 2006 we uh, believe that solar system has nine planets however on august 24 2006 the international astronomical union iau has re redefined a planet right this international astronomical union iau uh, which has the member of scientists they give us the new definition of planet right they gives us the definition of planet and pluto is it cannot match the definition of planet that is why the pluto is no more planet right it is a dwarf planet solar system now has only eight planets because planet pluto planet earlier planet is that what i'm telling you one second see pluto which was earlier a planet is now called a dwarf planet along with ceres and aries ceres and aries this both are also dwarf planet and now pluto is one of them dwarf planet means what बहुत ही ज्यादा स्मॉल जिसे हम बोना कहते हैं हिंदी में राइट सबसे ज्यादा छोटा वेरी स्मॉल प्लानिट इट इज कॉल्ड ड्रॉप सो सीरीज एरिस एंड प्लूटो इज नाउ अ ड्रॉप प्लानिट सो नाउ इन द सोलर सिस्टम देर आर ओनली एट प्लान दिस एट प्लान एंड द ड्रॉप प्लान मूव अराउंड द सन इन देर फिक्स पार्ट you can see this in this picture all this eight planets and the dwarf planet they all revolving around the sun on its fixed path 
ये जो जैसे सारे प्लानेट है वो जैसे रिवॉल्व करते हैं सन के राउंड वो अपने एक फिक्स जगह पे पाथ मतलब क्या एक रास्ता पाथ का मतलब होता है रास्ता तो वो एक अपने फिक्स पाथ में मूव करते हैं तो जितने भी ये प्लानेट अपने फिक्स पाथ में मूव करते हैं दैट फिक्स पाथ इट इज कॉल्ड ऑर्बिट सो यू यू कैन सी दिस व्हाइट लाइन इट इज ऑर्बिट so all the eight planets and the dwarf planets they moving around the sun on its fixed path it is called then or okay children okay. okay. yes beta no ye uranus ko hai na jo line hai this uranus of course it has the ring see children this uranus planet it has ring like etc Now, see, students, your homework is you have to draw the solar system in your pen notebook. Okay. Okay. And the hard words. I don't think so. There is any hard words. I am hard words underline kara ra. Hmm. Okay. Hard words. Okay. Revolve. Okay. Increasing. Okay. Distance. Done. बेटा कान यू सी रिवॉल्व इंक्रीजिंग द स्क्रीन इज नॉट विजिबल स्क्रीन इज विजिबल देन आफ्टर सरफेस एंड साइंटिस्ट This hard work you have to write down in your pen notebook and draw this solar system in your pen notebook. Okay? Now, any query, students in this chapter, in this topic, in the solar system? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma okay, so students, see tomorrow. Other topic will explain you later. Bye, okay? bye, bye, everyone. Have a fun. Bye, ma'am. 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 Bye, 